Hi, this is Dr. Johnny. So I've been talking a lot on the blog lately about all the bad weight loss advice that's out there. But today I want to talk about a few weight loss tips that actually work. And, and they're not specific to any diet. I actually think that these are uh, the most useful tips that I've ever found. And they're diet neutral. They're things that you can apply to almost any eating program. So an example of that would be just eating a little bit less food. You know, that's simple. And it's almost always a good idea. Now you could argue with that. You could say, hey, look, I'm on a raw foods diet. All I eat is vegetables and nuts. Why is it a good idea for me to eat less food? And I'd say, yeah, you're probably right. That doesn't really apply to you. But the fact is that almost everybody listening to this doesn't just eat vegetables and nuts. So for the vast majority of people who are listening to this, uh, less food, good idea. But I don't want to get into all these trivial exceptions. As the politician once said, if ands and buts were candy, it would be Halloween every day. So, so let's take these principles in the spirit in which they were intended. They're a good idea for most people most of the time. So let's start with the first one, less food. You know, when you go out to dinner, try eating a little unconventionally. You know, Michelle and I will often share an entree or we'll have a couple of appetizers in a salad and we'll skip the main course. There's a lot of ways to do it. One way is to order less, but another way is to take half the stuff on your plate and put it into a to-go box. You know, there's even something called intermittent fasting, which is a new technique that's pretty much the opposite of everything that we've ever heard about eating every two to three hours and an idea which I think is long past its expiration date. Now, in intermittent fasting, the idea is to just let significant amount of time go in between meals every so often. For example, maybe from 6 p.m. the night before till noon the next day. Now, that reduces the amount of insulin that you secrete and has a lot of anti-aging benefits. Okay, that's one thing. Reduce the total amount of food you eat. A second tip would be to start each meal with a small salad. Now, studies by Barbara Rolls show that people who ate a small green salad, about 100 calories, spontaneously consume about 12% less calories during the meal. So it's like a great natural appetite suppressant. Same thing with the soup, small 100 calorie clear soup. And speaking of soup, here's another tip. Eat more of it. Soup's almost always a great weight loss aid. It contains a lot of water, so it's what we call high volume. Uh, it takes up a lot of space in the tummy. It's usually very high in nutrients, and it's reasonably low in calories. So it, soup is really a great diet food. Another tip, eat protein at the start of every meal. And if you're on a quote-unquote regular eating plan where you eat breakfast, which most of us are, you should really make sure that you're eating a high-protein breakfast. There's a million studies on this showing that protein increases metabolism, keeps you full longer, and it may aid in weight loss for all those reasons. Then there's a tip by one of the very first superstar nutritionists, Adele Davis. Very interesting lady. You should look her up online. Her famous saying is still true today, and it's this. Eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince, and dinner like a pauper. Now, that's the exact opposite of what most of us do right now, which leads to the next tip. Don't eat late at night. There's a thousand reasons why this is a good idea to not eat late at night. And every so often you'll read some interview with a superstar in People magazine who lost a lot of weight in the interview and they ask how she did it. She'll say something like, I didn't eat after 7 p.m. or something like that. Okay, there's some truth to that. Don't eat late at night. And finally, here's my favorite tip of all. It's actually the best weight loss tip that I've ever heard and I've been talking about it for over a decade. It's something I invented myself and I call it the proactive food diary. And what that is basically is instead of writing down what you ate after you ate it, you kind of do a visualization. You plan the day out. You actually imagine yourself at each of the different eating situations you're going to encounter and you actually plan what you will and will not eat. Now, this whole idea of visualization is worth an entire other blog about, but it works very, very well, and it's been shown in studies to work very well with basketball players who actually visualize their shots and piano players who actually visualize difficult passages. It actually shows that their performance improves. So there's something about mentally rehearsing what you're going to do that really has some serious uh, positive impact on what you actually do do. Uh, so plan your meals in advance. This works particularly well when you're going to a banquet like Thanksgiving or Christmas or something like that. If you actually visualize it, plan it, and write it down before it happens. Um, so take those tips and run with them. You know, they, they work with any diet. They, they can be incorporated into any eating plan, and they're solid. You know, they work. Try them out. You'll see for yourself. And as always, let me know what you think. This is Dr. Johnny Bowden the Nutrition Mythbuster, and I look forward to hearing from you.